Here we have got a very interesting question. Uh, question is saying here, find the value of x for which uh, x comma minus 1, 2 comma 1, and 4 comma 5 are collinear. Here we have got the three points, and these three points are collinear. Already question is saying. So we need to find out the value of this unknown quantity x. All right. Uh, it's really interesting. We need to solve this with the help of uh, slope of a line, all right? We're using the slope of line because continuously we're learning slope of line. So how we can solve this with the slope of line? See, it's it's really easy, you know. Uh, collinear first. Collinear you need to understand. Collinear means co means together. Together. Linear means line. So together in a line. Together in a line. Those points which are together in a line are called collinear points. So here, uh, let me first make a line, all right? Let's say this is our line all right and here we have three points okay let me say the given uh, those points are uh, here is one point that's x comma minus one let me say this is point a and another point we have here b which is uh, which is two comma one and another point we have here c which is four comma five and now if these lines are collinear then now see what we can do here we can find out the slope of this two line, slope of sorry, the slope slope of this line uh, AB, and then we'll find out the slope of the line BC, and since they are collinear, the slope of the AB and slope of the BC should be same, all right, and we can equate it. So let's first find out the slope of the line AB, all right, slope of AB and slope of BC again, slope of BC both are equal right because uh, two lines are connected here you know two lines are connected you know so uh, so the slope of AB and slope of BC will be same and again it will be equal with slope of AC also slope of AC all right slope of this AC slope of AB and slope of BC all are equal because they are collinear they all are making the same angle with respect to if there is some like x-axis if there is uh, x and y-axis then that time each line, you know, this AB line, uh, uh, I mean to say, this this AB line and this BC line and AC line, all lines are making the same angle with this uh, uh, positive direction of the x-axis. So that that's why I can say that uh, all the slope are equal. So now let's try to find out the slope of each and every. Okay, slope of AB. So again, difference of y coordinate, y2 minus y1 over difference of x coordinate. That's the slope uh, formula of the slope. All right, so slope of AB now, y2 minus y1, you can choose any one. So difference of y coordinate, y minus, uh, you know, this 1 minus minus 1. Difference of x coordinate, that is 2 minus x, 2 minus x. Now let's find out the uh, slope of BC, all right, BC. So y2 minus y1, 5 minus 1, x2 minus x1, 4 minus 2. You can choose any one, x2, uh, x1 and y2, y1. And similarly now slope of AC. So slope of AC is uh, y2, y1. So that's 5 minus minus 1 and x2 minus x1. That is 4 minus x. So now here we get the relationships, all right? Uh, so it's 1 minus, uh, minus 1, so it will be 2 over 2 minus x is equal with now 5 minus 1, that's uh, 4. And 4 minus 2, that's 2 is equal with now 5 minus 1 that's uh, 6 and 4 minus x so you can solve any you can choose any two and you solve and get the answer all right let's take this two so we'll get 2 over 2 minus x equals to 4 over 2 and let's solve it properly so 2 times 2 that is 4 and this 4 will multiply 2 minus x so you'll get 8 minus 4x and now this minus 4x will go left hand side so you'll get 4x and this 4 is coming right hand side so it will be 8 minus 4 so our 4x is going to be 4 therefore x is 4 divided by 4 that's 1 so we got the value of unknown quantity that that was x so x is equals to 1 so what uh, x is equals to 1 all right and if you want uh, you can verify also if you get this slope this slope and this slope all after putting the value of x then we are 100% right so x value we have got how much uh, 1 all right so if I'm putting here 1 then I'll get 2 divided by 2 minus 1 and here I'll get 4 by 2 it's 2 by 1 and 6 divided by 4 minus 1 
So for that, what we'll get? 2 divided by 2 minus 1. Uh, now let me write with very dark. Okay. 2 divided by 2 minus 1. 2 over 1. Here also we get 2 over 1. Here also we get 6 over 3. That's, uh, it, it is actually 6 over 3. That's actually 2 over 1. So here also we get 2 over 1. So all the all the slopes 2 over 1, 2 over 1, 2 over 1. It means all the slopes are 2, 2, 2. It means, yes, we are right. Slope of AB is equal with slope of BC is equal with slope of AC. We verified it also and we are 100% right.